Welcome to Electro Online. Have you ever wondered when a car is moving, when you're driving along in a car, what percentage of the kinetic energy is stored in the rotating tires, and what portion of the total kinetic energy is actually the car moving forward? Well, let's try to answer that question. Let's assume that we have a car with a mass of 1,000 kilograms. It's moving at the velocity of 20 meters per second. The tires each have a mass of 30 kilograms, and the radius of each tire is 25 centimeters. And we're going to assume that the moment of inertia of each tire is like the moment of inertia of a solid disk. That means that the I of each tire can simply be considered to be one half m r squared. So to find the total kinetic energy, kinetic energy total, we simply have to sum up the, oop, that's equal to the sum of the translational kinetic energy plus the rotational kinetic energy. The sub T means translational and the R means rotational. For the translational kinetic energy, that would be one half mv squared. And since I use big M for the mass of the car, I should use a big M here. Plus, now there's four tires, so we have to multiply that by four. Four times the kinetic energy, the rotational kinetic energy of each tire, which is one half times the moment of inertia times the m times omega squared. I've lost my equation there for a moment. So we use the rotational equivalent of the translational equation, one half mv squared for translational kinetic energy, one half i omega squared for rotational kinetic energy. Of course, times four because there's four tires there. Now let's plug in what we know for the moment of inertia. Also, we have to realize that the tangential velocity is equal to r times omega, which means the angular velocity is equal to v divided by r. So we replace the omega here by v divided by r. This can now be written as one half times the mass of the car times v squared, plus four times one half times the moment of inertia of a tire would be one half m r squared, notice we have a small m here for the mass of the tires, and big M for the mass of the car. The mass of the car includes the mass of the four tires. And then we multiply this times omega squared, which is v squared over r squared. And then right away we can see that this r squared cancels out this r squared. And here we have one half times one half is one quarter, times four, which is one, which means that this is equal to one half mv squared plus four times a half times a half, which is one times little m v squared. Now we're going to go ahead and plug in the numbers and see what we get. This is equal to one half times 1,000 times 20 squared plus 30 times 20 squared. Now notice that this would be the rotational kinetic energy of all four tires. This becomes equal to, that's 400 times 1,000 divided by 2, which is 200,000 joules for the translational kinetic energy for car and tires combined, plus 400 times, that's 4, that's 12,000 joules, which is the rotational kinetic energy in the four tires. So that would be the total kinetic energy. If we add that together, we get 212,000 joules for the total energy, both the translational energy of the car plus the rotational energy of the tires. Now let's try to find out what percentage is made up of the rotational kinetic energy. So the percent kinetic energy rotational is equal to the kinetic energy rotational divided by the kinetic energy total times 100%. We get 12,000 joules divided by 212,000 joules times 100%, and that will tell us what percentage of the total energy in the moving car is actually due to the rotating tires. So 12,000 divided by 212,000, that would be 5.66%. 5.66%. So a little bit over 5% of the total energy due to the moving car is due to the rotational kinetic energy of the tires. About 95% of it, or about 94% of it, is due to the total forward motion of the car. And that's how that's done.